for making time today to join me for some fun. Our theme this week is pets. Let's sing our hello song so we can start having some fun. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? How are you today? I'm fine. How about you? I'm fine. How about you? I'm fine. How about you? How are you today? This is a picture of my cat, Pippa Jane. She's three years old. She likes to chase squirrels and play with balls. She also likes being kind of goofy. But one of her favorite things to do is sleep. She takes a lot of naps. Do you have a pet? The first book I have to share with you today is titled Kitty Cat, Kitty Cat, Are You Waking Up? written by Bill Martin Jr. and published by Marshall Cavendish. Kitty cat, kitty cat, are you waking up? Not yet, mother. I'm a sleepy buttercup. Kitty cat, kitty cat, are you out of bed? Not yet, mother. I'm standing on my head. Kitty cat, kitty cat, have you cleaned your fur? Not yet, mother. I'm practicing my purr. Kitty cat, kitty cat, what are you going to wear? Just a second, mother. I'm looking everywhere. Kitty cat, kitty cat, where did you put your socks? Just a second, mother. They're over by my blocks. Kitty cat, kitty cat, have you found your shoes? Just a second, mother. They're easy things to lose. Kitty cat, kitty cat, do you want some fish? Just a second, mother. I'm playing with my dish. Kitty cat, kitty cat, hurry up and eat. Just a second, mother. A mouse is on my seat. Kitty cat, kitty cat, you'll be very late. Just a second, mother. School will have to wait. Kitty cat, kitty cat, now we have to go. Okay, mother, I'm sorry I'm so slow. And off they go. My cat Pippa is a lot like the kitty in the book. She does things when she wants to. Let's practice counting to 10 and matching colors with 10 colorful cats. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. 10 kitty cats ready for a trick. Which color ball will each one pick? Let's match them up one by one. Kitty cats are so much fun. <gasps> what color ball do you think the brown kitty would like? <gasps> A brown ball. <gasps> what about the purple kitty? <gasps> A purple ball. Will yellow kitty like a yellow ball? What about red kitty? A red ball. 
Now we have a white kitty cat. Would she like a white ball? Here's the little orange kitty. What color ball would she like? You're right, orange. Here's Mr. Blue Kitty. What color ball can we give him? A blue ball. Here's little gray kitty. What color would she like? A gray ball to match her fur. What about this green kitty? Would she like to play with a green ball? And the last little kitty is pink. And I have a pink ball for her. Ten kitty cats are ready to rest. They have the color ball that they like the best. We match them up one by one. Kitty cats are so much fun. The next book I have to share with you is a new one for me. I knew the first time that I read it that I would have to share it with you. It's titled Me and Dog written by Jean Weingarten and published by Simon & Schuster. This is me. My name is Sid. I'm just an ordinary kid. I make mistakes. They're mostly small, except for when they're not at all. This is Murphy. He's my pet. He's the world's best dog, I bet. But just between us, me, and you, Murphy's ordinary too. Murphy's pretty smart, but he thinks a bit too much of me. To him, I'm not a short grade schooler. I am supreme, almighty ruler, super duper boss and king. Of absolutely everything. So yesterday while getting mail, oops, I stepped on Murphy's tail. He yelped, then blinked his big brown eyes and started to apologize. Murphy thinks when things go bad, he must have somehow made me mad. Happy things get understood as his reward for being good. It isn't true. The world is large and I am a kid. I'm not in charge. I sometimes think there is no boss. That most things happen just because. Murphy, though, does not agree. He sits around and he worships me. He thinks that if he begs enough, I will give him lots of stuff. Bits of beef and chunks of cheese, things to chase and things to squeeze, things to honk and things to shove. And things that only dogs could love. It's silly how he prays and pleads since I give Murphy all he needs. Because he doesn't want me mad, Murphy tries to not be bad. And he isn't, I admit, except for when he is a bit. if he'd be as good if Murphy ever understood that I am not the Lord and King of absolutely everything. I wonder if he might be fearful and less friendly or less cheerful if he knew I'm not the whiz 
and maybe even no one is. So let's not tell him, I'm just Sid, a very ordinary kid. It seems to work out perfectly. Because I love him and he loves me. Let's have some fun and pretend together. We're gonna pretend to call a puppy. I have my favorite stuffed puppy with me to help me pretend. If you have a stuffed puppy, you can pretend with me. Call the puppy. <coughs> Give him some milk. Brush his coat until it shines like silk. Call the puppy. <coughs> Give him a bone. Then scoop him up and take him home. That was fun. I love pretending and I love stuffed animals. Our last book is titled Pets, written by Jill McDonald and published by Random House. Scaly, fluffy, furry, and feathered, pets come in many shapes and sizes. They all need special care and love. Always be gentle and calm around your pets. Rabbits have long floppy ears, whiskers, and a nose that can twitch. Can you twitch your nose like a rabbit? Rabbits eat hay, fruits, and vegetables. Meow. Cats have whiskers too. They like to sleep and stretch. Can you stretch like a cat? Cats clean themselves with their tongues. Ooh. It has small hooks and feels rough like sandpaper. Ribbit. Frogs love water and land. A pet frog lives in a big tank with places to swim, hop, and sleep. Can you hop like a frog? Frogs eat insects. They have a long, sticky tongue to help catch food. Dogs are playful and can be big or small. Some dogs can be trained to do tricks. Can you bark like a dog? Dogs should be walked every day. They have lots of energy and exercise makes them feel better. Nay, Horses are big, beautiful animals that can take people for rides on their back. Can you gallop like a horse? A female horse is called a mare, and a male horse is called a stallion. March, march. Ants are busy builders. Can you trace your finger along the maze of tunnels? Ants are insects, and their bodies are divided into three parts, a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. This spunky little hamster is running in its wheel. Did you know they can store food in their cheeks to eat later? Can you puff out your cheeks like a hamster? Hamsters like soft wood chips on the bottom of their cage so they can dig and make a nest. Splish splash, fish have scales. Fins and gills to breathe underwater. They need space to wiggle and swim. What colors do you see in these fish? Fish have lived on Earth since before dinosaurs. Lizards use their tongue to smell. They poke it in and out to taste the air. Can you stick your tongue out like a lizard? Lizards are reptiles. They are cold-blooded and have dry scales. Just like you, sometimes your pet needs to visit the doctor. Veterinarians are doctors for animals. 
Veterinarians look after all kinds of animals, from small mice to big elephants. Would your family like a pet? Visit your local shelter or animal rescue to find the best pet for you to love. That was a great book. I learned all kinds of new things about pets. How about you? I have a song about pets that I'm going to need your help with. I'm going to need you to bark, meow, and flap your wings. Do you think you can help me? Great! Now, let's practice before I start our song. Are you ready? Let's bark! Awesome! Now it's time to practice our meow. Fantastic! And now flap your wings. Terrific! I think we're ready to sing. If you're a dog and you know it, give a bark. Woof, woof. If you're a dog and you know it, give a bark. Woof, woof. If you're a dog and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're a dog and you know it, give a bark. Woof, woof. If you're a kitty and you know it, say meow, meow. If you're a kitty and you know it, say meow, meow. If you're a kitty and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're a kitty and you know it, say meow, meow. If you're a bird and you know it, flap your wings. If you're a bird and you know it, flap your wings. If you're a bird and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're a bird and you know it, Flap your wings. Great job! Well, it's time for our goodbye song already. I hope you can stop in next week for another visit. Our theme is cooking and food. Now it's time to say goodbye, say goodbye, say goodbye. Now it's time to say goodbye. See you all next time.